Hey guys, so this is part two of our exploration into Fenton glass. And as promised, today we're going to take a look at my grandmother's entire Fenton collection. I think you are absolutely going to love the collection, but even more, I think that you're going to love grandma and you're going to meet her in just about two seconds. And she's going to show you all of the yeah, things that she like loves and has been collecting for a very long time. Because I have an adult son and it reminded me of his childhood with the wagon. Oh. So, um, and it is special in this respect. There were only so many made. Um, and uh, I can't read. I took my glasses off. Now I can't. Do you see it? it it's oh, there's 2,500 made. This is the 117th. Wow. So it's completely numbered. Wow, mm -hmm. Grandma. Mm -hmm. And do you have a favorite of the figurines? Uh, not, 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 re not, not really. <laughs> Although I think this is a nice patriotic one. Oh, so you do, you like a lot of patriotic things, Grandma. This is cute. And does, is she signed on the bottom? Yes. Oh, and this one it, is called it, Stars and Stripes. Mm-hmm. I've seen Beck before. Beck has done quite a few, I think. And, um, and of course, I like this duck. She's very feminine. She even has a bow. Oh, yeah, you, you usually decorate with this one. Adam likes to pick that one up. And... Then I like what I call, now where is it? Um, this one? Um, right here. Um, where are the other ones? Oh. One. <laughs> oh, Adam put them over here. Um, this is a whole here. little family. Oh my gosh, they're all bears. All bears. Let's see this purple one. Oh, Smith. Oh, I like the the blue. This one's cute. Look at the even the eyelashes they did. Aren't they are they cute? And I think it's so nice because it's easy. Uh, some of the things, like for instance, like this. There's Fenton on the bottom. Yeah, you gave me the blue um, basket like that, and it's got the... But some of them don't have that, uh, and, and that's why I like the little... Um, I like the elephant. Oh, that one's so cute. That definitely it reminds me of um, in Jordan. There was so much like so, stuff with that design, like the paisley and... And... Um, and then you were saying about favorites. This is one of my favorites. I love the colors. Uh, I love the, the flowers. Um, I like the ruffle. Wow. This is, what is this one called, Grandma? Um, I, d I don't really know, but I think it was a limited edition, it, although it doesn't say it on the bottom. No, it doesn't say. Well, the, that one they used white pen. It's kind of running. It, but right there oh. is Fenton. Not the whole thing. Just, just the, the F. Image. Yeah, mm -hmm. they do the F. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice, Grandma. And I could be wrong, but I think this was one of the first Fenton pieces that I bought. Wow. Yeah. So this is old. This is Lily of the Valley, I believe it's called or some, or Violet of the Vi Violet. Vi um, yeah. Cause I've seen this design before and, uh, it's done very nicely on milk glass, but that kind of half milk glass, half clear glass thing. Mm -hmm. And I liked it so well that I bought a rabbit to go with it. Yeah. That's one of the things that I really like about Fenton is that if you like one pattern, you can get um, other items in that same pattern, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Use yeah, the candy yeah. dishes for. <laughs> wow. Nice candy dish. 
So what what did you use to actually use the candy dishes? What did you use them for? Um, I used to put like mints, um, lifesavers. Oh yeah. They're kind of pretty because they're white, white and. Oh, I bet. Yeah. And, and what, what about this one? Did you used to use that one for like mints and stuff? Uh, like this is a lot bigger. I used, I used to have this in the blue room. The blue, the blue room. Tell us about the blue room, Grandma. The, the, the blue room was at one time my son's bedroom. Yeah. And <laughs> eventually uh, he moved upstairs and then I turned it into a sitting room for myself. <laughs> and I had a love seat and a coffee table. <laughs> And, uh, and blue glass. And a lot of blue glass. So I, now looking so back. So it's called the blue, blue room. room. And now looking back on it, I think a lot of the blue glass that you had in there was probably Fenton. Yes, yes. This, this is another. I love the ruffles. Oh, yeah. And the hobnail. And um, I have... This is another one of my favorites, the milk glass with the violets. And I have a bunny with the same design on it. Oh, yeah. We saw that. Oh, I know where it is. This is the bunny. And then this is, this is another um, dish that I like. And this goes with one that I have. I have a um, a tiered tray. Where did you get this one from, Grandma? Um, I think my mother bought me this one years ago. And it's at one time there there was like a little um, sticker that you, sticker that you removed. Yeah, the thing about Fenton is some of the things are signed and some of them contain the actual Fenton stamp. And then some of them were just stickered. And uh, we'll figure out what years that happened. Well, the, the nice thing is that if it's a piece that's painted, not only does it have the Fenton, but it has the signature of the person who painted it. Like here. This one just says uh, elephant. Pachyderm. Oh, but, yeah. but most most of them have. Oh, let's see about this one. This one, the rabbit has uh, the signature of, of the person. Yes. Um, I think. Do these? Yes. Grandma, tell us about this one here, the fiftieth anniversary one. Oh, well, one day your grandpa and I were out for a ride on Niagara Falls Boulevard, and a new store had just opened up, and it was a combination gift store and jewelry store. And those are two of my favorite things. <laughs> and so Grandpa stopped, and we, we went in, and I was looking around, and it was almost our 50th anniversary, and I saw this bird, and I bought it for us. Oh. So it wasn't Jen's, though. This was a no, different little... This, this was a privately owned um, uh, gift shop. So it seems like you had a lot of those cute little gift shops back in uh, mm -hmm. Buffalo in, in probably the 80s and 90s. Mm -hmm. the, the economy was doing nice and people were, were really collecting. Yes. There was a gift shop in, I, I don't re in, a, in a small town about... Um, an hour and a half drive from where we lived in North Tonawanda, and it was owned by a ni very nice uh, past middle-aged couple, and uh, we used to go there, and they had Hummels, they had um, all kinds of... We'll gotten. have to... Grandma, we'll have to go over your, your Hummel collection one day soon. Oh, absolutely. That sounds like a... Yeah. I, Yes, yes, that would be fun. And I I saw one of these little bears, and I bought one, and then I saw the pink one, and I bought that one, then I saw the purple, <laughs> and I bought that one. There's so I had a whole little family. Look, there's Grandpa, there's, there's my honey, Ed, there's 
me, and there's Mark. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Grandpa's the purple one. Grandpa's the purple one. <laughs> oh, and I so love cool. this turtle. What a beautiful color. He almost looks like a crystal or something mm -hmm. like that. This gorgeous color, nicely hand-painted. These figurines um, are really, really uh, because rebounding and becoming more popular are now they on, are on they? collectible places. Yeah. And I like her. She's that was got her so little cute. dress on or apron or whatever with a little pocket. And, and I a don't, bow. <laughs> I don't think you have the color, but this one almost looks like a little bit um, the, that yellowish tint. Or actually, I think this one is called custard. Oh, yes. And Fenton glass. And then this is another favorite. And I don't remember what year I bought it. 2001. Oh, 2001. Very cute. Oh, let me get a photo of 